The uh, next question is from a student in Neyland High School in Brandon. I want to thank them for the question. It's about how will we ensure that people get uh, access to health care with minimal wait times. First and foremost, we have to have well-trained and well-qualified people uh, that want to work in the health care system. Doctors, nurses, nurse practitioners, health care aides, uh, therapists, uh, technologists. All of these people are an important part of the system. And how do we organize healthcare? We organize it to have people working in teams and to give them quicker access to healthcare. We're pioneering a, a model called quick care clinics. We've announced one for Brandon. And a quick care clinic lets a person go uh, on uh, after work or even on weekends, uh, go visit a nurse practitioner and their uh, team members and be able to deal with a problem quickly rather than uh, having to wait a long time in an ER. So that's an important innovation in the system that we're doing right now. In Brandon, it means uh, access to cancer care treatment at the cancer care program we got there, we've got there. It means investing in the new hospital that we built uh, since we've come to office in Brandon and adding more uh, features to it. And uh, ensuring that uh, the people in Brandon have opportunities for healthy lifestyles so that they can reduce their demand for health care services. And personal care homes. Uh, so that people that are living longer can have the opportunity to live in their home with home care, can have the opportunity to have an assisted living house uh, when they can no longer entirely look after themselves with home care even, and then the opportunity to live in a personal care home, and then finally uh, uh, more access to palliative care. So these are all stages of life, and uh, we want to ensure that we have a system that can address people's needs at every stage of their life.